hey guys welcome and welcome back to my channel welcome again this is Jorin's fashion view in today's video we'll be doing an illustration on how to cut and sew a gigot sleeve so if you're new to my channel please don't forget to subscribe click on the red subscribe button existing subscribers thank you so much you're welcome again I really appreciate you guys okay Okay, so on my working table I have my basic sleeve. I'll simply drop the link in my description box. You can go ahead and check it out for those who are here to learn how to draft the basic sleeve, okay? So what I simply did was to use my measuring tape to mark um, the length of my puffiness. That's exactly where I want the puffiness to stop on the sleeve, the puffy region of the sleeve. And I went ahead to mark 15 inches on my basic sleeve. So I simply used my marker pen to highlight that point, okay? So what I did next was to use my middle rule to create a straight line demarcating the upper section from the lower section. So the lower section on, on my basic sleeve is going to be used as a pattern for my band. Okay, so I simply went ahead to label each part as A, the upper section as A, and the lower part as B. Then I'll simply use my scissors to cut out to separate these two um, pieces together. So I'm separating A from B by cutting the basic sleeve into two, okay? So this is the part labeled A and this is the part labeled B of our basic sleeve. So I simply went ahead to transfer the section A part of my basic sleeve onto a fresh pattern paper as you see me do. Then I went ahead to extend the length by 4 inches so that, that the puffiness can be elaborate, okay? So this is not a standard, you can decide to extend by 2 by 3 inches depending on how puffy you want your sleeve to look like, okay? So I simply went ahead to use my pencil to trace out my basic sleeve on the fresh pattern paper with a new length inclusive. Okay, so after that, I simply removed or detached the basic sleeve from the paper and then I used my marker pen to highlight um, the basic sleeve I drew from the previous one. So the next thing I did was to use my middle row to draw vertical lines from the top to the bottom because we'll be using the slash and spread method for this illustration, okay? So I'm basically drawing a straight line and I'll simply go ahead to use my scissors to cut these vertical lines from the bottom to the top. So be careful not to cut out this pattern completely but ensure that you get close to the tip of the paper, okay? The reason for this is so that we can slide each strip conveniently, okay? The next thing I'll do is to transfer this pattern to my fabric and other illustrations will be shown there. Yeah, so this is my fabric. What I did was to place my fabric on fold as shown here. Then I went ahead to transfer this pattern on my fabric. So what I did next was to secure the pattern with a pin. So at this point, we're going to make use of our measuring tape um, when sliding the, east, um, the strip. So what I'll do is to mark 3 inch from one strip to the next. So as you can see me, I'm using my measuring tape to mark, to measure 3 inches from one strip to the next. 
then I simply went ahead to cut the fabric with this pattern and then with half an inch seam allowance on all sides. So we're done with section A. For section B, which is the band region or the band section, I simply placed this piece of fabric on fold. Then I went ahead to place my pattern B on this fabric and then I secured it with a pin. So what I did next was to cut out this fabric with this pattern with half an inch seam allowance on all sides. Yeah, so this is it guys. You can see how wide the lower part of section A is so I'll simply go ahead to gather it to match up with the length of the band. You can see the ruffles after gathering and you can also see that it's on the same length with the band. Okay, so I'll simply go ahead to secure it with a pin and then I'll take it to my sewing machine and then I'll run a stitch on that region. So here it is after joining um, the upper and the lower section. So we will simply go ahead to, to close the sides which is the last um, stage of this illustration. So what I'll simply do is to place this fabric right sides facing each other as you can see. So I'll simply secure it with a pin first and then I'll take it to my sewing machine and then I'll run a stitch and then we'll get to see what it looks like after that. So guys this is our gigot sleeve. If you find this video helpful give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. See you guys in my next video. Bye.